Hello Taurus and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support means so much to me. We're going to tap into your weekly energy reading. Okay, you can have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus or North Node. All right, you could also be cross watching for a Taurus. You're all welcome here. All right. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be, all right? Please thumbs up the video. That helps the video circulate. You guys are very new to the channel. Most of you guys are new to the channel here. Um, so let's get this video circulated to bring more Taurus people on. All right? Um, if you would like a personal reading, click the description box below. Visit my website, The Book of Personal Reading. And if you like it here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so you can be notified when I upload another video, okay? Spirit God says, says, please provide me a message for the collective of Taurus. Ah, oh, shade, okay. What's happening this week, Taurus? Um, spirit guides. All right. So angel, it's quite a few people have gotten this message with the angel card. The angel card has been showing up. All right. We are in a season in the realm, in this, in, in this realm here where our spirit guides are here, right? They are here. They're, they're, they're in the realm. And even though you can't, depending on your level of, 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 of gifts, you can't see them, you can feel their energy, and you may not know what this energy is, you know, that those, when you're deciding to do something and something comes to you like that and tells you to do something different, like their energy is here, right? We're in the third year of the age of Aquarius. This year is about spiritual guidance. You questioning what it is that you believe in, you digging deeper, you're doing research, you're going within. Like this year is going to seem very different to you, but your spirit guides are with you, right? Um, and you have spirit guides outside of your egg outside of your egg Outside of, you know, um, whoever has, you know, claimed your, your, your Ori, whoever has been assigned to work with you, you have, you know, you, you have, you know, angels and, and so on that, that are here. So you never know who's going to be there with you, but this is the season. Um, pay attention to the ones that have crossed over in your life. And then when you have visions of them, when you have visions of those that have crossed over, that's them telling you that they're there with you. And that's them, you know, communicating with you, okay? You have lovers here. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself, okay? So so, so somebody here has an option, all right, choices, okay? Um, uh, you could have two divine connections, right? Um, and, and, and depending on the, the way that you go, if you have two divine connections, your decision is very important here. Okay, you have a choice in love or, you know, choices in love. So, so your decision will affect your future, right? So let's see what this is about, Spirit. Please provide me a message for the collective of Taurus. I'll share. Let's see what this is about here. You and your choices this week. I'm, I'm strongly getting as well. Some of you guys have a choice whether you're going towards a relationship or not. Okay. All right. So let's see. This is my choice. All right, so you have the Seven of Swords, you have the Two of Wands in reverse, you have the Queen of Cups, and you have the Ten of Wands here, okay? Let's see what else. Sure. You have Justice, Six of Cups, Four of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups. There you go. Okay. 
Some of you, some of you guys could be big on praying. You could pray a lot. All right. You, you have a lot of patience, right? With the temperance in, energy. Okay. Ooh. You have a lot of patience with yourself or with someone. Okay. There's the lovers here again, confirming. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups, okay? Someone could be making a decision to walk away. Like, there could be someone that is going, that's wish fulfillment, right? That could give you uh, extreme and pure happiness, right? But for whatever reason this is, you're walking away. Or they're walking away here. You got the King of Cups. Okay. Hold on. Alright. So you got the King of Swords in the Sun card, right? So this is telling me that, you know, this could be your energy, um, Taurus. You could be very sure of yourself. Been through a lot, right? And so your decisions are very calculated. Or you could you could have uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or someone with that in a prominent placement in their chart, okay? Also, Leo energy, all right? That's here. But this person, this person could be <clears throat> a happy-go-lucky person. Or your thoughts with this person, like... They're very happy, right? You, you know, you're very happy when it comes to this. Something could have happened here and, and that change. You could very much be in your head or this person is very much in their head, okay? When it comes to you and, and, and it's changing, someone is not following their intuition here. So without the choices that you have here, your intuition is telling you to go towards something else. But then you get into your head here and you overthink the process, right? You get in your head and you're overthinking this process. And by you overthinking the process, you're overthrowing this situation because you are not aligning with your higher purpose. You're not aligning with your intuition here. Um, you could feel as though like, no, you know, uh, this person may not be spiritual or this person may not, may not meet you where you want them to be. So it's like you're trying to... There's something that you're trying to bring back or, 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 or bring, you know, to reincarnate here. All right. You or someone, right? Um, or some, someone has come back into your energy. Someone has come back into your energy, but by you being in your head, being indecisive, like something is ending. So where they're trying to, to give into the situation, this person is pulling back on their energy here. Mm. Okay. You have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is what you have here. Um, so someone could be being sneaky or just deciding to remove their energy. They just up and decide, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pour into this situation anymore. Okay. This could be your person's energy, Taurus. Like this is your per, like your person is saying, listen, I'm, I'm not pouring into this anymore. Like it, it was a decision that was made. It was a choice that was made for them to not want to pour into this anymore for whatever reason. Okay. This person was coming up as the queen of cups, very nurturing. Okay. They have a very nurturing personality, um, very forth going when it comes down to, um, giving you energy. Very, very, um, this person liked you a lot is what I'm trying to say. 
very creative as well. Like they liked you a lot and they, you know, having conversations, I feel like you had visions of what this was. You had visions of <clears throat> creating something or, or aligning with this person in some type of way. But then it felt like <clears throat> they may have felt like they were doing it by themselves. Excuse me. I, I, I know y'all see me pause. I was looking for my drink. Like, wait. This is breakfast. Lunch and sometimes dinner. So. My throat. He didn't wet my throat. Um, you could have seen yourself with this person, but this person may have felt this though. Um, they were the only ones that wanted this. They were the ones that was pushing the narrative, right? They, they got tired of carrying it alone, or maybe they felt as though they would have to carry it alone if they went forth to this situation. Okay. But you have the justice card here. So there could be some type of legal issues that you got going on. So you're in your head about that. So you're not really given to this, but also this could be some type of karmic justice here. All right. So whoever this person is right in your choice, this is more so a, this is a person that this is the path that you took. If you took this path, your life would completely change, but it's not easy. So it seems as though you're going to gravitate to a karmic path or you're going to gravitate to a karmic pattern, right? Something that may seem easier, okay? Um, I'm hearing like they say, they say. So you may be worried about what people may say or you may be feeling like you may not know how to... Um, Proceed with this situation. You know, it, it may be very different, all right? But be mindful of that. So some of you guys may have some type of legal situation happening with your children, all right? Um, it's going to go in your favor, right? Um, there's something that something that you are worried about. And, and your spirit guides are saying, don't worry about it. So there could be something... That, that's going to work out for you when it comes to your children this week, okay? I feel like this person here is a past life person as well. Ultimately, you may, like, you were focused, right, on what you had going on. And I feel as though ultimately you may come out of that energy. Like if you get some good news about something that's been heavily on your mind, you're going to like snap out of that energy, right? And then you're going to be like, okay, what? Okay, let me pay attention to this more. What do I need to do? Like something may take over you, right? Your spirit guides are here with you. So for some of you guys, this could be a situation to where you have a choice to either go towards a relationship or not, right? You have a choice in this matter, all right? Um, and you have to figure it out. But this week, I feel like you're coming to an energy where if you weren't paying attention to this connection or this person, you're going to start paying attention to this, to this particular situation. Some of you guys may have a air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your energy as well. And some of you guys are like, you know what? I don't have time to really focus. It may be two people that have your energy. I don't have time to really focus on one or the other, but you're going to get to that energy, okay? So there's going to be forward movement here because you know you have options. And, 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 and even though it feels as though you're internalizing this situation and you know that you have options um, and you're, you're focused and you're trying to make something happen, um, someone could be very resilient. One of the options could be very like, yeah, 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 you know, but what I'm hearing is like one is, is, is a better, a better avenue, right? This is a better avenue, but it requires work. And so you could be going through the pattern that does not require work, right? Like, and, 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 and most people do it. So don't feel away. 
but you go to the one that you can, you don't have to put as much work into, or you don't, you know, they're not going to require as much and going that way, it's going to be convenient, but you're going to be, you know, you're going to, you're going to regret it. It's not what you really want, right? So when it comes down to this is for movement towards this particular situation or connection here, uh, could be a Gemini in the mix as well. Um, but like people are very resilient, like uh, at getting your energy or you knowing that there is something that needs to be done. Somebody here is casting juju to get in your energy or to keep someone away from your energy. Okay. Uh, my queen of wands in reverse, that is definitely juju. Okay. Uh, this is, this is, it, it's clear. So someone could be trying to beat the odds, right? And the thing is about, and this is the funniest thing ever, because you did have your high priestess here. If you are some type of spiritual worker and you are a male energy, when a woman, when a woman, when a woman, okay, divine feminine casts on you, regardless of if you feel like you know that you're being casted against, they have a certain accessibility that you won't even know that you're being, you know what I'm saying? That you're being worked, right? You have to pay attention. So whoever's working you, it's somebody that you least expected, right? To be working on you, um, trying to draw you to them. If it is in the wheel for you to be with that person, it will be. If it is not, it'll be another disastrous decision. So with the temperance here, my advice, the vice portion of this is to have patience, right? Follow your intuition, all right? Um, be mindful, all right? Um, there's something here that makes you very happy. And go towards your happiness. If this is you and this King of Swords energy, you've been through a lot, right? But you are true to yourself and you know you want happiness and you know what you want. It may be very different, but I do see you very soon coming out of your head, okay? I see you coming out of your head. I see, I see, you know, that part ending, right? Um, or you, you being happy, that's ending and you being in your head because you're not getting something that you want here. Or you don't know which way to do way to go. But if you are into do if you do some type of spiritual work, okay, just be mindful of that. That this is in the mix of your reading, okay. There is some juju in the mix of your reading, all right. Um, and this is being done. Someone could be could, someone could be an Aries, all right. Queen of Wands, Aries energy, okay. But Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they could just embody this energy. Someone could know how to do what they do. That's here to sway something right so again you're not you're, you're confused and you're in your head and this this is putting you in the high priestess in reverse because when you are vibrating at your highest frequency you're not going to be confused and you're not going to be in your head maybe you're in your head because you know that you should go towards something but you just you, you you're not you know building up the strength and the courage to go towards this thing you know but this is not this is not high priestess energy to to be in your head, right? If you're in your head, you're not at peace. Um, just FYI. So, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get a little weird. All right, somebody somebody may decide, hey, I don't wanna I don't wanna end it, but you know, with the ten of swords in reverse, I feel like someone is not fully walking away or someone is doesn't feel betrayed right because it's next to the royal card so it's like someone doesn't feel away they don't feel betrayed they don't feel hurt but they just ended the cycle you know what i'm saying you know all together uh because this energy is showing up here right they could they could pick up on this energy you being in your head you're not vibrating at your highest frequency so they could just be ending a cycle, ending, giving into this cycle, reserve, pulling back on their energy, right? Trying to figure it out. But come to find out, Taurus, <laughs> look, come to find out, you get into this energy. You get into this. You decide, hey, you know what? I'm going to offer some type of, of, of energy some type of love to this person. I'm going to offer some type of, uh, of, you know, communication to this person. Maybe something starting out slow. Okay. But you get this clarity that comes to you 
And with this clarity, you know, you're like, you know what? Okay, I do want this. I do want love. I do want to move forward. I do want to see what this is about. I do want to explore this. I do want to see if if this is going to serve my higher purpose. Okay? So, you got a busy week because you're in your head and you really have to go with the flow. Be mindful. Put your protection up at all costs. And most importantly, stop talking. Uh, Taurus, you guys are infamous for talking too much. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. You're infamous for talking too much. And because you're talking too, too much, one, you're allowing somebody to play on you. Okay? You're allowing somebody to play on your energy. Stop talking so much. All right, Taurus, that is your reading. I'll share.